Good morning, hello and welcome back to my channel. It is time for a day in Majev. So if you have watched my last vlog, you probably saw there has been a full seven day ski trip vlog in this beautiful, magical town. My boyfriend actually told me that they call this town Magical Majev. I don't know how true that is, but it's very magical. Today we have the snow falling, we have sunshine. It's very, very beautiful. So. I decided to do this as a separate vlog because my last vlog was seven days in a vlog and it got long. So if you like long hearty vlogs and you want to see us skiing and you want to see all the best restaurants, head over to that vlog now. I will link it below, but it's just on my channel. But today I thought I always do like a day in London vlog, so why not do a day in a beautiful French town? I guess it's a little town. Absolutely gorgeous. So today we're not skiing because it's our final day and I thought it would be nice to do a vlog because you can drive here from Chamonix, you could even drive here from London. I know a lot of people come here just for the weekend, so let's see what we get up to today. And I'll also talk to you about some of the amazing things we've done this week as well. So see, this is a little guide to Majeb, and I really hope you're going to like this video. So let's start with the hotel. I'm going to give you a little hotel tour. We booked the M de Majeb Hotel because it was one of the small luxury hotels, and we just love all of their hotels. They have a collection of the best hotels, and they're always premium. The service at this hotel has been one of the best I've ever had. It's so rustic, it's so authentic, but it's so five star. Little things like when I went to the shop to get my ski boots, they ran over and carried them back to the hotel for me. Every single element is so five star. It's also family run, and we're just super impressed with this hotel. Our room has been so gorgeous. We've actually struggled to get up in the mornings because the bedroom is so comfy. And then we've been having breakfast here every morning. If you're not staying here, but you come, you should come for the breakfast buffet because it's so good. I've been having yogurt with these like choco bites every single day. Are they called choco bites? I don't know. They're like chocolate shells. I need to find them in the UK. They are so delicious. And then the most amazing fruit. They're famous for their blueberries here, apparently. And I've been having blueberry jam on sourdough, baguette. We're just very impressed with the breakfast here. So... We are now actually packing up our things. I was just saying to Matt, I don't know how this stuff arrived because we cannot get it back in our cases. And then we're gonna go and have a full day. I did also start the morning in the spa. I've been loving my swim and my sauna steam while I've been here. It's so good in the mountains. But now we're just gonna really quickly pack up and then we have a beautiful day ahead. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting! <laughs> wow. Okay, this is a restaurant we didn't get the chance to eat at, but Matt said it's one of the best reviewed restaurants in the whole of Majeb, right? Every night. Every night. This is a little spot that does really good bread if you want any bread. Been around a four minute walk to the ski slopes from our hotel and it's just tucked away up here you just walk up there and then there are the ski slopes and then our hotel is just here so it was actually really really convenient it was totally fine oh the little market's on again with it being a sunday we should get some stuff Dog spot. Hello, cutie. So lovely. Have a little market on on a Sunday. How amazing. They have all of these homemade delights. How gorgeous. All of the jams and syrups. And they're all homemade. Incredible. Wow, these look so good. And a crepe store. How delicious. Wow, it smells amazing. We even have some Easter treats over here. Shops here are pretty amazing. As you can see, there's an Hermes. 
I did check some reviews online and apparently just like all other stores you can't just walk in and get a bag it actually got really bad reviews online because everyone was like I thought you could just walk in and buy something but nothing here is actually for sale my gosh those sandals are gorgeous in that color but yeah it got lots of complaints online about how you can't actually buy anything that they have on display here we haven't eaten here yet but it's high on my list because there's basically a hotel chain in the area who own a lot of gorgeous like restaurants and hotels and this is one of theirs and it looks so good We are checked out and we are just on a walk. I say we, Matt's just resting halfway up the hill because too much skiing has hurt his knee. Oh my gosh, I have seen so many people up the mountain during our trip doing hikes and I feel like this area must be so good for hikes. So I wanted to come out this morning and follow some of the trails. Wow, it is warm and dressed for a ski season and it's really quite warm but goodness it's so beautiful up here the chalets here are absolutely incredible some of the best chalets i've ever seen at a ski resort they are just so beautiful So on our ski trip, I kept seeing people wearing this brand and the outfits were so chic, but I've never heard of it. Shall we have a little look in? Look how nice the trousers are. I keep seeing people in like their white and black trousers and they're just so chic. 400. We wanted to go in, but as it's a Sunday, I think it might be closed because there's a mannequin in the way of the door. But if anyone's ever tried anything from this brand, let me know, because honestly, the ski pants looked amazing. They were kind of like flared. And Matt really wants to go here for lunch if it's open. I'm not sure if it's open. Apparently this is a really famous Michelin star restaurant, which is actually outside of Majev, and this is kind of like the same sister restaurant or something, but it doesn't look very open today. And look, they even have a little boutique here selling salts problem is it's a sunday so a lot of stuff's closed but they have salt they have liquor and they even have all of these these are made in switzerland actually pardon yeah sunday demand the thing's just open a bit later monday to sunday Sunday, Mardi, Mercredi, Jeudi, Vendredi, Samedi, Dimanche. That's my French school class. We're obsessed with this ski shop because look, they have bears. Yeah, they did. They had another one on the window. They've got they've got rid of him. But look at these boots. Do you think they're over the top? <laughs> I quite like those white ones though, this brand's called Bogner, they're really nice. But these ones, you would literally look like a teddy bear. But this guy, that's why we're really here. I like those gloves as well, those nude Bogner gloves, they're really nice. There's another one here, hugging his friend, or his child, or her child. <laughs> Coming up is my absolute favourite deli. But I think it reopens at three. A lot of these shops seem to be closed until three. And everything in here is homemade. And basically, they own a few hotels in the area as well. But look, they have the most amazing teas. They have infusions. They have gems. And we also got a chocolate mousse from there. So I need to go in there when they reopen. But I don't think they're going to be open right now. No. Hopefully they're gonna open back up at three because this place is truly beautiful. It just sells so many gorgeous gifts and everything's fresh and ready to take away. 
I love how trusting they are that they just leave their alcohol out. You would never do that in the UK. But I just love it. Everyone's so trusting here. A lot of really nice interior stores here. Look how nice these books are for the coffee table. This is a really great spot if you like chocolate. It's actually a hotel that Matt was going to book for us. I'll pop on screen some of the things we had here. <laughs> we went for a Nutella filled cookie, even though we said we weren't gonna come here today. We are here. Had a cookie, and it's just a really cute little spot inside a hotel. They basically shave the chocolate in front of you, and we got this chocolate sandwich, which is really good. I don't know if you can see on camera, but it's really snowy right now. <gasps> And that's really exciting, although it's a good job we're not skiing today because we did do a bit of skiing yesterday when the weather was like this and it kind of hits you in the face so it just feels really magical walking around here while it's snowing. In here, they have Celine, Dior, and Lueve. The shopping here is really quite great. Love it. This was one of our favorite spots. We came here and we sat in the lounge with a cheese board, and it was so good. Sat just on the right hand side, and honestly, it was one of my favorite meals we had this trip. There is nothing I love more than going into a French supermarket. Shall we go ahead? That's the slope. Oh, so that's the actual restaurant. Oh wow, it's tucked away. Is it open? Is the supermarket open? No, I think the supermarket's closed. Huh. Basically, everything seems to be closed. I don't know if it's because it's a Sunday, but between one and three, everything just closes. It's closed, but Matt did just spot up there. Les Flocons is a restaurant he's heard of, but I actually think that might just be like a chalet called that. It's definitely not the restaurant. So for lunch we are back in a hotel that we absolutely love and I love that they bring you a full side of bread, some cheese although it's a little bit less cheese than we had last time and then we got this alpine dried beef and it comes with like um, a chutney which is really delicious and the interesting thing about France is that they don't serve butter with bread because they see bread as apparently a way to dip up sauces so every single time i've had to ask for butter with the bread but that is on its way and we're gonna enjoy this
lunch was amazing basically a cheese plate so we decided to head to Les Firms de Marie in daylight because if you watch the other vlog you'll see we went there one evening and had the most delicious delicious cheese plate we basically just had cheese plates like every single night and I wanted to see it in daylight and I wanted to see it in the snow and that was really nice and now we are just walking back down to the town centre hopefully something should be open now but the epicerie that I wanted to take you to which is the deli is actually the deli from the farm of the hotel that we just had lunch at so you can buy like all the cheese the chocolate mousses and everything we're just on a lovely lovely little walk to the village you know We just saw someone on a run and I was saying to Matt, I do feel like this town is the most perfect place to go for a run. It's very hilly, you could just run for so far. And then Matt was like, oh yeah, because your legs were fine, weren't they? Because basically our legs were so sore from skiing, which is crazy because I've skied many times before. I do a lot of running, I do a lot of kind of like leg days in the gym. And it felt like we were doing the hardest reform of Pilates moves, like our legs were so short they just felt like lead that is the best way to describe it after like five six days of skiing so yes maybe i wouldn't have been able to add a run into the mix but if we come back i definitely definitely want to go for some runs around this area because it's so beautiful for running Oh, I thought they were a mess, but they're actually just fake in the same thing. How do we get away with that? Oh, our favourite thing to do is to look at the chalets here because they are so perfect inside. That one's six million. Uh, off season, a hundred thousand per week. 100,000 per week, not bad. Oh, look at this one. This one's got a nice little pool with it. That was quite well priced, three million with a pool. Yeah, with a view of Mont Blanc. I love nothing more than a French deli, and I've wanted to pop into here, and it looks like it's open. I have all the Rothschild. Champagne. We need to drive and then we can bring a car with us next time. Look, even these beers have the Michelle on it. How gorgeous. We sell so many beautiful homemade things in here. I love mountain honey so much. It's like gloopy. She got some in Chamonix last year. Oh yeah, but look at this. Like Nutella. I was just thinking we need to find some honeycomb because we got some in Chamonix and that was so good. Oh, coffee. You could get yourself some coffee. And then they have all the cheese if you had a little chalet and you wanted to maybe make your own cheese or raclette. some really good stuff in here. They have all these shops tucked away in here. Oh wow, this is a busy little crappery. Yeah, they're the bougiest skis I've ever seen. Why are they so nice? <laughs> <laughs> so if you're looking for somewhere for dinner that isn't French food, this is such a sexy restaurant. We have really enjoyed it. They apparently have one actually on the slopes, which, why didn't we find this? It's on the Piste de la Princesse as well. Oh my goodness, that would have been so fun. We never even saw that. Maybe that was closed. 
but we went here tiger palace it was really really great for like dim sum and then it turns into a bar in the evening matt said they were his favorite prawn rolls he's ever had and then we also headed to this place. I would say the mains weren't vast, but the desserts were really cool. I got like gummy bears for a dessert, and I found this online because it had really, really good reviews. But I think if I went back here, I'd get the fondue because everyone was having fondue in here. Another great spot for lunch that got really bad reviews online, but we personally had a great time. Video crepes use that which I need to go back and order, but I actually had onion soup and that had steak and it was very good. Yeah. It's snowing. These are beautiful. Yeah. basically on a deli crawl and I'm not mad about it. Let's go into this one and see if they have other stuff. Oh wow, they have loads of chocolates in here. How gorgeous. So many things. This is so gorgeous. And they even have rotisserie chickens in here. And lots of different teas. Oh, finally, honeycomb. Oh my gosh. That is the bougiest honey I have ever seen. We've got loads of different honeys up here. They're so nice. They do Swiss cheese twists in here. Just spotted this gorgeous again another interior shop and everything is furry which is so exciting i don't know if you can see through here but the chairs are all furry and then they have these incredible candles how gorgeous are these and they're all star signs and then this vase i literally love it how beautiful is that past three o'clock i look so tired pray for me that the epicery my favorite one is open so if we come back and get a chalet i'm definitely gonna come and get some fondue from here how amazing we got so many good cheeses gosh the chocolate mousse that i got has sold out Maybe we could get a cream chocolate pistachio one instead. Wow. I basically just want this jar for the house because I think it's so nice. But they do have a tiramisu. They also have um, a rice pudding, which is one of my favorite desserts ever. I feel like it would be really nice to get some special olive oil from here. Just such good olive oil. Even the ice cream is perfection. Like, look how nice the branding and the packaging is. I love it. Healthy jackpot. Da -da 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 -da. I got some chocolate box. <laughs> I just wanted to buy something from there because I love it so much. Yes, I went back to the deli that we went into yesterday and I bought a chocolate mousse, a giant chocolate mousse. What do you do on a rainy day in Majeuf? Da -da -da -da. <laughs> da -da. You guys know I love French beauty. I have to quickly pop into a French pharmacy. Love seeing what they have in French pharmacies. Cordelay, obviously, one of the best brands. <laughs> Matt just said it looks like our house. What, because we love SkinCeuticals so much. So even though SkinCeuticals isn't a French brand, they obviously sell it in here because L'Oreal, who owns SkinCeuticals, is French. Which is your favorite? Hydrating B5, Matt absolutely loves. I love Floritin. 
Sea Fluoric and this one I'm about to break out. I also love the cleansing gel. I got some of this for our next trip. It's really, really good SPF. And they have so much Clarins stuff, which our hotel was actually a Clarins spa, so we've been relishing and using the Clarins toilet trees all week, which have been gorgeous. This is so good, it literally smells amazing. I've been using it every night. I used to go to France just so I could stock up on this. Remember when everyone was like obsessed with it? It was the best thing ever. And more brands that we're in love with, La Roche Posay. When I had really, really bad dermatites on my eyes, everyone recommended that I use this. Avene, another really, really good one. This brand's also very good. I feel like this is made in France, yeah. And I've also bought their dry shampoo before when I've been in France. I have my sunglasses on because my eyes are streaming down my face so badly. Does anyone know why this happens? Literally streaming down my face with water, so sorry about that. So I went into a French pharmacy, always love going into a French pharmacies. And it's funny because growing up, I would literally come to France and I would get everything. La roche Posay, Bioderma, Avene, and now you can get it all online in the UK, so. The excitement has kind of worn off because it's actually cheaper to get it in the UK. I'm almost certain. I found this in Chamonix. I couldn't believe how expensive it was. I just used to think that French pharmacies, or they used to be, super, super, super affordable. But maybe that's like in Paris. I don't know. But the stuff in this French pharmacy was definitely expensive. But then again, we are in like a small town, so things are elevated in this area. But it is cool to go into one. And as Matt said, it literally looks like my beauty cabinet at home because we love all of those brands. French beauty brands really are some of the best out there. So now we are just heading back to our hotel actually. They do crepes between 4 and 6 p.m. and they have like a guy who makes the crepes live. So we're gonna go and enjoy one of those I think as our final meal of our trip. It's been gorgeous to walk around today even though most of the shops were closed. Um, lunch was amazing at one of our favourite hotels and just walk around and enjoy the snow. You can't really see on the camera but it is snowing right now so let's go and choose a nice crap. Crepe or crap? Because every time I say you say crap. I don't know. Every time I say it I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Comment below. Crepe or crap? I mean I pronounce everything wrong so I'm probably wrong. we checked in we got the most amazing drink it was a welcome drink so i just asked if they could make me one and they made me one it's kind of like mountain honey with soda and rose petals it's so refreshing and so good bombed with an alcohol of your choice for an extra five euro mm. evening and just like that we are in Geneva so we fly from Geneva to London and it's around an hour and 15 drive from the hotel that we were at. I think we could probably squeeze in one more chocolate. We've definitely had one more chocolate show but we had such a gorgeous day. They love Magelle. I feel like it's definitely one of my favourite places I've ever been to. Look how tired I look. I've just been napping. A few restaurants that we didn't get a chance to show you today you'll watch on the other vlog that I feel like you need to go to. There's one called Mon Père, I believe.
Matt and I were just sat there and we were like, this is pinch me. It was so special. I just feel like the food scene in Majev is so good. Great skiing, great food scene, great shopping. Just has everything. We didn't stay in the ski and ski out hotel. I believe the only one is um, the Four Seasons, but they didn't have enough snow this year. So that wasn't even ski and ski out. Um, and usually I love ski and ski out trips, but this was only like a four minute walk to the slope, so it was totally fine. But I just wanted to take you around with us today. On our final day, we have literally just gone into the airport. Everything is gonna be saved on my Instagram to a highlight called Majev. There's also another vlog which has a lot more in-depth like food and us skiing and that kind of stuff, so check it out. Thank you so much if you made it this far. And say hi on Instagram, mshellx, and everything mentioned will be linked below. I will see you in the next vlog. Thank you so much for watching.